In a previous video, I talked about strategy filter types. I talked about the categories and showed you some examples of filters that we can use. Later on in the newsletter that I published weekly, I showed an example of a base strategy and I applied different filters on it and showed you the results of those filters on the same strategy. And from the feedback, I concluded that not all people got what the filters do. They think they are an optimization of a strategy that achieved better results. But in reality, it is not. So I thought I explained this in a video. So this video, I will show you a type of filter, how it works and how it filters strategies. And I'll show you an example of a strategy on gold futures. Now, most of the time I use the S&P 500 futures with the RSI2 strategy as the base, because by now I've done hundreds of variations of the strategy and I know exactly how it behaves. So I know immediately if the filter is working or not. But I chose to apply to a different instrument and different time frame just to show you that these filters will work on any type of strategy you produce. So for this video, I chose the gold futures from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. New York time. Now, this is not some voodoo time frame. You can do this by looking at the intraday volume and you pick the most active time that this futures is being traded. So once you find that 8 to 1.30 p.m., you make a special session, a custom session that encapsulate all this time frame. So in this case, from 8 to 1.30 p.m., that's 330 minutes. So although I will be using a daily time frame, but the day session is between 8 and 1.30. Now, this is one of the pillars of the Algo Trading Masterclass, which is you need to diversify your strategies with time frame better than instruments. Because you see now this time frame has nothing to do with the exchange time frame, and it, you will get different results by applying different patterns on this session. So let's start with a simple directional filter. Directional filter, as the name suggests, it will tell us the direction of the instrument we are trading. So it will filter if the direction is up or down for that instrument. So here I have the gold futures with 330 minutes session. So this is the active session that I told you about. It's from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. New York time. And I have the 200 day moving average. So this can be considered a directional filter when the price is above the 200 day moving average. We are in a bull market. And when it's below, we are in a bear market. Here is the same indicator now colored for slope. So this is when the slope is up, it's green. And when the slope is down, it's red. So the same indicator, we can use it as the close above the indicator. We are in a bull market. We can also say we are in a bull market and the slope is up. Because here, for example, the price is above. So we are in a bull market but the slope is down here is the opposite we are in a bull market because the close is above the 200 day moving average the slope is up but the price is going down so from a single indicator we can drive many filters because each one is doing something different but very important to notice that a 190 day moving average is not a different filter because the 200 day moving average to the 190 day moving average should not produce significant changes in your strategy. And if it does, that means you are over optimizing. So you need to have a significant change in the look back to make that a new filter. So for example, if you are using the 200 day moving average, then you should at least use the 100 day or the 50 day moving average. Now in strategy quant X, you can take those different types that I told you. So for example, the price is above the 200 day and the slope is up. That's a one filter and the price is above the 200 day and the slope is down. That's another filter. And you can use those filters in builder to generate different strategies with these different filters. The reason I use optimization in multi charts or trade station, it's because I need to trick the platform to go through all these filters through the optimization because they don't have this builder workflow in strategy quant X. So that's why we need to trick the platform. So what I do is I number these filters from let's say one to 100 
and I say, okay, optimize by changing the numbers. But in reality, I'm just trying different filters for the same strategy. So I'm not optimizing the filter. I'm just using different filter through the optimization. So this is the same chart and this is the 200 day moving average. And now I added my market regime indicators. These are proprietary uh, indicators. They are included with the Algo Trading Masterclass, which by the way is open now, depending on when you see this video. And if you click the link and the enrollment is closed, just register so you'll be notified for next enrollment. So what does this directional filter do? It's basically a clever way of incorporating many signals into one. Green, that means we are in a bull market. Yellow, it means we are in a sideways market. And red means we are in a bear market. And same indicator also have a slope. So it goes up and goes down and above zero and below zero. So just like I told you with the 200 day moving average, I can derive many filters from the same indicator. Below it is the same concept, but now this is for volatility. So volatility is red is very volatile. Green is quiet and yellow is normal. It's like the sideways. And again, we have volatility rising and volatility falling. And again, from these combinations, I can build many filters. So this is very important point to grasp. So I'm not optimizing the strategy signal. So the signal could be the highest high, the lowest low, an oscillator below a level, above a level, or a breakout above a level. All these signals are fixed. What I'm testing is a different environment for that signal. So I test different environment to see when that signal give me the best results. So then I know that signal is suited for this environment. And to drive this point further, I will show you a detailed statistics of the filters that I just showed you. So this is a strategy on the gold futures that I showed you 330 minutes day session. And basically here I am buying every day and selling the next day. So I buy the open, I sell the next open. And I registered the state of each filter. So I have long term filter, short term filter and volatility filter. And then long term slope, short term slope, volatility slope. And this is the volume slope. I'm not going to use the volume here because I don't want to complicate things. These are all the trades. I have about 4,300. So these are all the trades aggregated. So I have the long term directional filter. This can be equated to the SMA 200. And I have the short term directional filter. This can be equated to the SMA 30. And then I have the volatility filter this can be equated to the ATR 20 average true range 20 bars this is the total of all trades so we have 4300 trades and then here the values are the average standard deviation maximum and minimum for each column so this is volume this is range so let's focus here out of about 4300 trades the bull market is about 1700 the bear market is 1500 and the sideways is about a thousand these are the percentages. So we spent 40% of the time in bull market, 35% in bear market, 24% in sideways. And then rising and falling about the same. For short term, I'm spending about 50% in bull market and 30% in bear market and 22% in sideways. So you, that's what I'm telling you. You need to separate the filters a lot to get a different behavior. So in this case, we went from 200 to 30 to get this different behavior. Again, the rising and falling is about the same. And then volatility. So volatility, we're spending 40% of the time in volatile market, 13% of the time in normal market, and almost 50% of the time in a quiet market. That's below normal. That means the volatility is very, very low. Again, about the same in rising and falling. The average of what we make in the bull market, if we buy every day the open, sell every day the next open, so that means we're holding one bar, $13.56. No commission and slippage. But then in the bear market, 
same thing we are buying and selling the next day we are making fifty dollars and then in sideways we are making 8.72 so the differences are huge obviously if i want to go long in gold i should be going long in bear market and then gold makes $51.50 in short-term bull market and almost a scratch in bear market and sideways. So it's completely different picture than this. This is the average of every day. Also very noticeable that falling slope of long term is more than double the performance of the rising slope. Same thing in the short term. And finally for volatility, it looks like normal volatility and volatile market in the gold futures are much better these both of these filters are much better than this one now to get the exact results so if i pick this regime so this is long term bear i can come here and select long term bear so this filter produces $50 on average. It spends 1,521 days, which we know already from here. And these are the results for the average, the standard deviation, maximum, minimum, and the sum. So for example, this strategy will make $75,000 if I buy every day in the morning, sell in the next morning in this market regime. So it looks like a lot of information, which it is, but I just wanted to prove to you how this filter works and why do they work it's just they are a different environment for every instrument so if you apply these market regimes uh, to any instrument it'll, it will give you a different picture for every instrument now of course this will be very tedious and it will take i don't know a lot of time and hundreds of hours just to research every single strategy and bring it here and see which one in the excel so a much better way is to take all these filters, number them, and then just run an optimization on your signal to see which filter performs the best. Okay, so for the same futures, I chose the RSI2 strategy, but this time we are using it as a breakout signal. Because remember, the gold is positive. It has a positive tendency, so we want to go long. And so I'm going long when the RSI2 above 75 example here the price is above 75 we go along next bar and i'm holding for four bars so one two three four i sell and then the next time here the price above 75 i buy next bar i sell four bars again the price here is up i buy next bar and so on and so forth so for example here you can see we did not cross and then we cross here above 75 we buy next bar and we sell after three bars and now we will optimize the filters so again, we are not optimizing the strategy. We are just running the strategy through multiple filters by tricking the platform into optimizing through the number of filters. So what I'm doing here is I'm running 248 combinations of my market regime filters. You need to build filters that is significantly different from the next adjacent filter. So while yes, you can build hundreds and hundreds of filters, it's much better to focus on different filters. Basically, you are just producing to your strategy a different environment. So this is dry, this is cold, this is hot. And which one the strategy thrives in, that's the one you're going to keep. And then you uh, get rid of the rest. And these are the results of the uh, filters that we tested. So this is the number of the filter and the results are sorted by return to drawdown. And you can see we went from the best average in the Excel sheet was $50. And here we have like 400, 600, 800, uh, to 400, many, many strategies with over 100 trades and over $400 on average. So for example, this filter 103 is the short-term bull market and the long-term bear market. So basically, I am trading these two. So this is 49 alone. This is 51 alone. By combining them, remember, we are not adding the averages when, they com when we combine them. We are basically getting the best out of both. 
which is in this case $468 on average. Now look at this, 95, which is lower in terms of return to drawdown, but it's almost making double the amount of money. This filter 95 is the short term bull market and sloping down. And by the way, the difference is also going to be huge in the equity. So let's look at this one. So let me pick this one and let's look at the equity. But now let's go to the adjacent one, which is making less money. So this one 55 and let's pick that one. This strategy now is going up all the time and it's not making anything from 2015 till uh, 2021 but this time the strategy is totally different because it's flat most of the time look at this this straight line means it's not trading this one is here this one is here in fact we can see that from time analysis look at this it's almost 11 percent only in the market so that means 90 percent of the time this strategy is not trading so this will be excellent to add it to a portfolio because you can use the same capital to trade other strategies. Now let's look at this one, which looks like in between it's making 77 and the drawdown is 24. And this strategy looks like just uh, going up slowly every year. And as you see from the same signal, which is not optimized, not nothing. I just know that the gold is positive. It will work well with long strategies so any signal i take going long should work now some signals will work better than others but most of the time any signal long will work on gold then i pair it with just a filter and already i am way ahead of many other traders who are trying to scalp and five minutes and support the resistance and fibonacci and all this mumbo jumbo really it's picking the instrument uh, personality characteristics match that with a signal add the right filter and you are uh, way ahead now you can still work on this strategy i showed you now three you can combine 10 of them that's a portfolio going long on gold you can add then stop loss profit target change the number of days remember i'm exiting here fixed at three days because i just want to show you the performance but probably that's not optimal. Probably the optimal is two days or 10 days. I don't know. So that's more testing. But just driving the point, filters are like one of the pillars of a strategy. It's entry, exit, and a filter. If you like this video, then you will love this one. So make sure to jump in and I will see you there.